shooting news. And uh, Andy, this is quite an amazing stand. Yep. This has got to be the well, the, the largest in Gun Makers Road. I'm, I'm sure I'll there is. This it? is the largest single branded stand in the whole of Gun Makers Road. In fact, the whole game fair. Um, we've really pulled out all the stops. We've got new clothing displays. We've got a whole new uh, stand. We've got brand new um, guns in both rifles and open unders, yeah. and a fantastic selection of my favourite, which is the B25 handmade brownies. Yeah, we're in the custom section. Yep. This is always wonderful. And what we've got it? here, we've got a selection of um, both pairs. We've got 12 balls. We've got 20 balls. We've got 28 balls. And we've got one of ones, and we've got. Um, beautiful single guns and the new dummy three-piece for it. Now come on, I know just before we came on air you actually sold a pair of guns this morning, haven't A you? pair of guns were sold today to a, a very nice gentleman. Um, got a nice pair of D5Gs, which are all-time favourites. They're lovely, aren't they? And a Chenonso, which is a new first one we've made in the 28 ball. Oh, right. We've got a one-of-one one quail gun. And we've also got a C2S. That's Three beautiful 28 through there, Andy, yep. isn't it? This is the first one we've ever made. It's a one of one. All right. Uh, three piece, four end, 28 inch barrels, side plated, beautiful piece of wood with the extended trigger tank yeah. and also the pistol cap. Lovely, isn't it? Yeah, beautiful. They've received an awful lot of attention oh, in the last, say, four or five hours we've been over. Yeah, yeah. We've been inundated. We've got so busy, we've actually had to rope off the area to try and allow people through. Really? Yeah. I have to say, I really like the attention to detail there. I think that yeah, looks it's, it's really very, it's nice. Very, very it? unusual. Would you like to show you? Yeah, that'd be fantastic. This is a beautiful lightweight game gun, 28 inch, 28 bore. Oh, that's beautiful. Engraved yeah. by Bailey, one of our in house engravers. Look at that work there. That's yep. absolutely yeah, the work in the beautiful, isn't it? It's so intricate. Hundreds and hundreds of hours of engraving. So, when are you and I going to go out and just have a little play then? Anytime you want. I'm a bit busy this weekend. <laughs> That's lovely, isn't it? Yeah, it's a very, very nice gun. Probably one of the finest guns on Gunmakers Row this weekend. Special commission? Do they just leave the guys to sort of do, yep. it, do it? Yeah. Every year we give the um, engravers, our in-house engravers, a free hand to engrave something that to what yeah. they want to just express themselves. And they'll choose something, either a rifle with stags on or wild boar. Yeah. This year they, they chose a quail gun, which will, this gun will probably end up in America been sold in Texas. Really? Um, but it's just fantastic it work. Is, uh, it is beautiful. Yeah. It? And having the um, side plate as opposed to the box lock gives the artist a bigger canvas to work yeah. on. Yeah. Just beautiful work, isn't it? Thanks, Andy, for showing us that. That's absolutely superb. Now, come on. You've had quite an, uh, quite an amazing year. The, the start of the year with the with the new models and uh, it's sort of the momentum is pretty much sort of just carried through. Yep. Here, you know, here yep. we are at the, at the Midland and, and, and look at the amount of people that are on here demand, looking at the ranges. Demand for us has outstripped supply yeah. on many models and we simply can't manufacture enough. Yeah. Yeah, we can't uh, compromise on the manufacturing and the quality, yeah. so therefore we just have to have a, a, a delay. I mean, it's been quite a fascinating year, really, isn't it? I mean, Browning, a, a magnificent name within the industry, and, and, and there's always, a, you know, quite an amazing turnover of guns, and there we are this year, launch of the new guns, and, and it seems that, you know, it's gone to another level, hasn't it? We've got various models, the Heritage Mark II that's come out, and the demand is out strip supply. Yeah. We've got the new 725, which we've got a waiting list now for several months. And yeah. for a production gun, that, you know, just shows. It's, it's phenomenal. Yeah. We've it? got the new X-Trap come out, a, a new trap gun with a high rib yeah. for the new popularity since um, the Olympic Games were won with a high rib. Yeah. So we've yeah. brought an American model of XT over. Right. And we've put that with a high rib and 30-inch barrels yeah. with extended chokes, right. which is unusual as well for a yeah, an interesting so that, combination, though, isn't that it? That, again, has proved quite popular. Very, even more so in Scotland. Yeah. I've sold twice as many guns in Scotland as I have in England. Have you really? Yeah, of the track gun. Goodness me. Well, and thanks very much indeed for spending John, time with us today. Thank you very much once again. Thanks very much indeed. Okay. Appreciate it. Thank you.